The strength of your online business will rely on the strength of your systems. Because at the end of the day, you want to be able to have systems to plan your content. That way you can attract leads, but also you want to be able to have systems that automate your sales as much as possible. That way you can make money even if you're not actively working on your business. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about different moments in my life where the systems of my online business really helped me a lot. So about 10 years ago, I was a college professor commuting to my university about an hour and a half from home and an hour and a half back. And I also had two toddlers at home. So I was just starting my online business and I really didn't have time to do everything, right? But one thing that I understood early on is that in order to grow my business, I really needed to be consistent with the content that I was sharing online. So valuable content that I was posting on Facebook because back then it was mostly Facebook that we were using. So how to be consistent with that in order to grow my community and in order to get more leads for my offers, okay? If you work in education, you know that when you get home, work actually follows you home. You have to do lesson plans, you have to grade, you have to do all different things, prepared lessons for the next day. So building my online business on the site was very, very challenging. So I was really trying to make it work. I was barely able to show up online consistently with good content. Fast forward a few years when I got pregnant with my twins and I really couldn't get on my computer for long periods of time. I had terrible morning sickness. I was feeling tired all the time. But what I remember is that I am a good planner. That was a skill that I was able to utilize. So I decided to take my business more seriously. And I realized that in order to show up more consistently, I couldn't just do like the day by day thing that I was doing. I had to be able to plan my content in advance. And that's what I did. I got a whiteboard from Walmart and I sat down and I planned about three months of content. So it's here right here and I call it the beast because it is a beast, okay? And I was very, very proud of it. And it was the first time I was actually able to show up consistently online with valuable content. So I didn't have to get on my computer after work, after dinner, every single day and trying to figure out what I was going to post the next day on Facebook. I already planned everything. And after I planned all of that content, I was then able to schedule it on my Facebook group. That way it could go out on autopilot to serve my audience even when I couldn't. I didn't know it then, but once I had my C-section and delivered my babies, I had postpartum hemorrhage. So even when I was drugged up on morphine and all of that and spending days at the hospital, my content was out there serving my audience. And at the end of the day, this is how I see content. I don't see content as me doing the work. I see my content as my ambassador and going out there and telling people about what I do. It's a way to serve my audience with valuable content. It's a way to get to know my audience as well with fun content and a way to make sales with promotional content. Okay, so my content was able to do that while I was at home recovering and even when I was going through postpartum depression after that. So you want to have content to be part of the system who does the work for you when you cannot be there. Fast forward a few months and a few years when the kids are getting older, but they're still home with you and you're trying to get some work done and you try different ways. You're trying to work when they nap and you know, one twin is awake and one twin is sleeping. And, you know, it makes it hard for you to be present on your business all the time. So you have different ways to work around it. You have different systems, but you also have some mom hacks too. I made a previous video about my 4 a.m. routine. I'm gonna link it right here. That way you can get an idea of some of the things that I sometimes do just to make it work. Again, it's not something that you have to do all the time, but it's a hack that you can use in order to get the work done. At the end of the day, you want to be able to build an online business that has the right systems that work for you and your lifestyle. If you're not a morning person, no problem, but you still want to have your content posted online in order to serve your audience, even if you're sleeping, even if you're traveling, even if you're away, or even if you just don't feel like being online, okay? You want to be able to have those systems in place. And this is just one of the many things that we talk about in my free five-day challenge, where I teach you how to start your online business. 
you want to be able to have an online business that you can start now so you can fund your move abroad, but you can also sustain your lifestyle abroad. Okay. You don't want to just depend on your savings because then that puts a limit on how long you can be away for, right? You want to be able to continue to make money as you're abroad so that you can stay there for as long as you want. Okay. And that's something that I teach inside of my free five day challenge. So if you want to join us for the next session, all you have to do is check the link in the description fill out your name, fill out your email, and then you'll have access to our private Facebook group where we'll do all the teaching, okay? So I hope you can join us for the next session. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like, make sure you share it with a friend and subscribe to the channel. That way you don't miss any of my other videos where I talk about online businesses as well as our preparation for our move abroad. Until next time, bye.